the universe will do something amazing for you and a lot of opportunities will appear out of nowhere into your life. The blessings you are receiving are massive. You're in pain. I am aware of your struggles. I have visited there. I went through it all. You can create understanding between people from various origins, cultures, and worldviews. The reality is that they didn't realize it until it was too late because they were blinded by their own greed. Therefore, it is their loss rather than yours when you give them the opportunity and they don't accept it. Because I've witnessed individuals lose their employment or suffer harm as a result of the conduct of another, I can relate. I am aware of how annoying it may be when someone acts as though everything is always their fault while never making a mistake themselves. These are the eight things to keep in mind. On Tuesday, God will unlock doors for distractions, refresh your mind, and restore your sense of tranquility. God already has a plan to rescue you from your current situation. You wouldn't dare give up before your miracle. You'll get better. You'll recover quickly. Better times are ahead. There will be blessings for you. The things that God is doing are amazing. Everything you touch will prosper this week. Your best days are ahead of you. Rely on God. You will survive this period thanks to God. What is broken will be fixed by Him. Relax in Him. Things will turn out okay. Your dreams are as huge as God. He won't let you down. You are never placed in a circumstance by God alone. God is before you. He is next to you. He follows you as you turn. Be assured that God is with you no matter what the circumstances are right now. Enable the unrestricted inflow of prosperity, pleasure, freedom, and confidence into your life. Don't be so hard on yourself. Every event has a purpose. Keep believing, keep praying, and watch your life change for the better. Trust me, I love you. If you have faith in God, the end of the world is near. Death occurs every day. Your corpse is already dead and in the ground so you don't need to worry that it will be made fun of. The true fear is the possibility that your soul could perish one day, leaving your spirit to roam aimlessly on the surface of the world in search of happiness, but unable to achieve it. What an awful thing it is to be born into this world, only to die there once more, roaming aimlessly from place to place with no idea of where one is or what one desires. They do the bare minimum because they enjoy the advantages. A brief phone call every now and again to check in, let you know that we're thinking of you, etc. We now have a brighter hope thanks to God to make up for our sins once and for all and grant us eternal life with Him in paradise. He sent His Son into the world to take on the role of our guilt bearer. I'm constantly at your side, my little child, guiding and guarding you as you travel this path. Put your faith in me and my plan for your life. There, actually keeping in touch in reality. Remember, God is always with you and he has a purpose and a plan for your life. Trust in his love, guidance and provision and have faith that he will work everything out for your good. Stay connected to him through prayer, seek his truth and continue to trust in his promises. May God bless you abundantly Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. Please like and subscribe for more content like this if you love God. I will deliver you in that day, says the Lord, and you shall not be given into the hand of the men of whom you are afraid, and you shall not fall by the sword, but your life shall be as a prize to you, because you have put your trust in me. I love you, dear God. I need you. I am humbly calling out to you. I'm tired of doing things my way. Help me to start doing things your way. I invite you into my life to be my Lord and be my Savior. Fill the emptiness in me with your Holy Spirit and make me whole. Lord, help me to trust you. Help me to live for you and help me to understand your grace, your mercy, and your peace. Thank you, Lord. I know that I am not perfect. I know sometimes I forget to pray. I know I have questioned my faith. I know sometimes I lose my temper, but thank you for loving me unconditionally 
and giving me another day to start over again. Thank you, God, and I love you. God's message for you today. The deepest level of worship is praising God in spite of the pain, thanking God during the trials, trusting Him when we're tempted to lose hope, and loving Him when He seems so distant and far away. At my lowest, God is my hope. At my darkest, God is my life. At my weakest, God is my strength. God's message for you today, do not think I have forgotten you. See, I have written your name on the palms of my hands. You are always on my mind. I have set out wonderful plans for you. Something new will be birthed out of you. Everything you want is coming. Relax and let the universe pick the timing and the way. Things are about to suddenly start working in your favor. Thank God for all the blessings. God is saying to you today, you will receive a wonderful, unexpected blessing from the universe. Be ready for the signs and the manifestations. The universe is saying to you today, when you have the courage to follow whatever your heart is telling you, you are following the path intended for you. Believe in yourself and your power. There are blessings all around you. Fill your heart with so much gratitude, then watch over it. You will feel more grateful as more good things will come to you. God is saying to you today, the funny thing is when you start feeling happy alone in that time, everyone wants to be with you. Hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. Tough times never last, but tough people do. Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. The more you like yourself, the less you are like anyone else, which makes you unique. The most beautiful things in life are not things, they're people, places, memories, pictures, feelings, moments, and smiles and laughter. Love what you have before life teaches you to love what you lost. Don't ever hesitate to admit your mistakes. Try to accept them genuinely. We should learn from our mistakes, but the only thing is to try not to repeat them. Always find time for the things that make you feel happy, happy to live. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. Please like and subscribe for more content like this.